breaking news tonight. A Russian commander exposing Vladimir Putin's broad ambitions in the Ukraine war right now, saying the Russian president wants, and I'm quoting now, wants full control of southern and eastern Ukraine. And joining us now, the Ukrainian Prime Minister, Denis Shmehal. Prime Minister, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate your being here in Washington and joining us. Uh, as you know, Russia now says it aims to establish what the Russians are calling full control over southern Ukraine. Do you believe they can do that? They can do this. Uh, so you, you, Ukraine is, uh, up, Ukrainians are, are absolutely brave, and uh, Ukraine now protecting our country. Uh, all of our guys and girls, our military forces protecting their land, their families, and Russians can't control because Ukrainians wouldn't like to have Russians on our land. Uh, our big idea and great idea to belong to the civilized world, to be part of European Union. So we fighting for this and we will never surrender to Russians. Is the fear, Prime Minister, that Russia will try to take the whole of eastern and southern Ukraine, essentially carving up your country? For now, Russia is attacking really uh, Donbass region and south of Ukraine. And for the last four to five days, we feel and see this beginning of this big battle for Donbass, as they say. And they uh, try everything every day, uh, everywhere, try to uh, push our uh, soldiers, our army from their positions, but uh, our uh, military forces are very brave and protect all and all the uh, all their positions and every square meter of our uh, ears. We also have uh, great and huge support from our partners and technical and by weapon and by finances. So it and we feel and we have support all civilized world and especially support from United States and from President Biden personally. Tomorrow morning, actually, we have a perfect and a great meeting with President. I'm sure that we will protect our country and protect democracy on the European continent and in the world. In the southern city of Mariupol in Ukraine, the mayor there says 20,000 Ukrainian civilians already have been killed. The people holding on there are clearly suffering right now without access to food or water. What do the thousands of people still trapped in Mariupol, what do they need from the U.S. and its allies and partners right now? The situation in Mariupol is terrible. Uh, we understand that Russians surround this city and uh, there is really a humanitarian catastrophe because about uh, and more than 100,000 uh, civilians were there for a long time without electricity, water supply, without water, uh, without heating, without food. So now we know that some thousand of our military uh, people are on the Azov style. Uh, it's a big part of Mariupol city and they protect some thousands of civilians. We don't know actually how much uh, civilians are killed in Mariupol, but we know facts that there are some, some small children, some babies were dying there because of dehydration uh, in Mariupol early two weeks and three weeks ago. So it's really great humanitarian catastrophe and it's one of the biggest uh, war crimes of Russians against humanity in, in, in Ukraine, in Mariupol. The British Prime Minister Boris Johnson today said and I'm quoting him now, he said, it's a realistic possibility, his words, realistic possibility, that Russia can win this war. How do you respond to that? Russia can't uh, win this war because we will protect our land till the hour end or till the end of this war. We understand that this war will, should finish uh, on the table, but in any way, uh, our soldiers are strongly motivated to protect our land. Uh, our uh, government is working 24 hours, seven, day, seven days per week. We have support all civilized, civilized world. Uh, sanctions against Russia are also working, and we are absolutely sure that Ukraine will win in this war, and victory will be in very uh, short period. I hope so, and I believe this. 
The Ukrainian Prime Minister, Denis Shmehal, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Good luck to you. Good luck to everyone in Ukraine. We appreciate your joining us. Thank you so much. All the best.